Lord Ganesha. Ganesha is one of the most important gods in Hinduism. He is highly recognizable with his elephant head and human body, represented the soul and the physical. Also the patron of writers, travelers, students and commerce, he removes obstacle blocking new project and is fond of the sweets to the slight determinant of his figure. Ganesha is also worshipped as a principal deity in both Jainism and Buddhism. For the Ganpatai Hindu sake, Ganesha is the most important deity. Ganesha is the son of Shiva and Parvati and he is the brother of Kartike, the god of war. He was created by his own mother using earth which she molded into the shape of a boy. As Shiva was away on his meditative wandering, Parvati set her new son as guard while she bathed unexpectedly Shiva returned home and on finding the boy and outraged at his impudence in claiming he was Parvati's son, Shiva called for his gang of demons, the Bhutanganas, who fought furiously with the boy. However, the youngster easily held his own against such fearsome adversaries and Vishnu, who was forced to intervene in the form of Maya, and whilst the boy was distracted by her beauty, the demons or the Shiva himself lopped his head. At the commotion, Parvati ran from her bath and remonstrated with Shiva for so summarily killing the son. Repenting, Shiva ordered a new head to be found for the boy and as the first animal available was an elephant, so Ganesha gained a new elephant head and became the most distinctive of the Hindu gods. As a reward for his great courage in fighting the demons, Shiva made Ganesha the leader of Bhutanganas, hence his name. At first glance, this story just seems like a nice tale that we might tell our children or a myth without any real substance. But its true mystical meaning is veiled. Parvati is a form of Devi, the Parashakti. In the human body, she resides in the Maludhara chakra as the Kundalini Shakti. It is said that when we purify ourselves, ridding ourselves of the impurities that bind us, then the Lord automatically comes. This is why Shiva, the Supreme Lord, came unannounced as Parvati was bathing. A story which explains the God's association with intelligence and wisdom in his competition was Kartike to be the first to marry. They set up a challenge that whoever could first encircle the earth would also find a bride first. Not wasting a second, Kartike swiftly mounted his blue peacock and immediately shot off around the world. Ganesha, on the other hand, casually sauntered over his parents' house, embraced them and quoted the line from the second Vedas. He who embraces his parents seven times, gains the merit of encircling the world seven times. Declaring the winner, Ganesha promptly married the not one but two daughters of Prajapati, Buddhi and Siddhi, with whom he had two sons, Kashmeya and Lava. Despite being a Hindu deity, Ganesha also has something of a reputation for greediness. One day, after eating a few too many modals, Ganesha decided to take a ride on his giant rat, Kroncha, to aid his digestion. However, the rat was surprised when he came across a large snake and jumping back with fear, he threw off his mount. Ganesha landed on his full belly 
and it burst on hitting the ground the cakes from his stomach rolled left right and center but ganesha unpeptured carefully gathered them and in stuffed them all back into his belly and wound the snake around his midriff to keep it closed symbolic of krishna's ability to overcome all obstacles the snake the cause of the accident in the first place therefore provided the remedy for the damage it had caused continuing on his night ride Ganesha suddenly heard a thunderous noise from the heavens. This was the laughings of the moon and his wives. The 27 constellation unable to contain themselves on seeing Ganesha wrapped in a snake. Outraged, Ganesha broke off the end of one of his tusks and hurled it in the laughing moon who hit full in the face. was struck black without the light of the moon the dark nights became the haunt of thieves and villains until honest people had enough and pleaded with the god to restore the silver light the gods asked ganesha to forgive the moon but only a partial forgiveness was given consequently only periodically on one night would the moon give his full light and then he would slowly waste away an alternative explanation of ganesha's broken tusk is that of krishna throwing his axe at ganesha after he blocked his entrance to the private apartments of his parents shiva and parvati ganesha allowed the axe to hit and break his tusk so that no one could say that the axe which was in fact his father's was not a fearsome weapon yet another but less picture sake explanation of ganesha's broken tusk was that he snapped it off in order to transcribe the epic poem mahabharat dictated by the sage vyas who wished to preserve the story of all time This version explains Ganesha's association with writers and intellectuals. In Hindu art, Ganesha is variously portrayed depending on specific cultures: Indian, Cambodian, Javanese, etc. But he is most often depicted with the head of an elephant and a rather portly human body. In his hands He often carries a broken tusk, an axe, a ladle, a noose, prayer beads, and a tray or bowl of sweets. He sometimes also wields an elephant goad in order to master life's obstacles. Ganesha is often depicted riding Kroncha, his giant rat, famed for its agility and also symbolic of God's ability to circumvent obstacles.